This question mainly concerns itself with the distinction between speed and velocity. While we use the word speed much more often in our everyday life, uh, as we do physics, we find that it's a little lacking because it leaves out a very important piece of information, which is the direction. And so more often in physics, we'll deal with velocity where direction matters instead of speed. However, in this case, we're dealing with both of them just to see how different they are and how we treat each of them separately. So specifically, they're actually talking about the average speed and the average velocity. The average speed is defined as how far you travel, distance travel, without worrying so much about the direction. Every step you take is a step forward, so to speak, and you're counting all your steps. And you divide that by time to get speed. Whereas average velocity, you actually care about the direction you're going and so forward and backwards are different. So it ends up the only thing that matters is this thing called displacement over time, where displacement is how far it is from the start to the finish, regardless of what path you take in between. So through doing this question, hopefully you can figure out how to treat each of these separately and deal with them properly. So let's take a look at what the situation is here. Very typical situation, a student drives in a car. She starts from her home. Say we have a lovely little home here with some nice bellowing smoke. And she drives around. Uh, of course she has to follow the road because you can't necessarily take a straight path there and you might have to do some weird turns, go through a roundabout and squiggle around a bunch of times, find parking and then oh hey, you're there. And here's say your school. What she read is that after going through all that squiggly motion, again, direction doesn't matter, that she finds that her distance travel, as reported by her odometer, is 12 kilometers. We have time that's given to us, which is nice, because when we want to find average speed, it's equal to the distance travel over time. That being 12 kilometers over 18 minutes, we could figure the answer in kilometers per minute, but usually we use kilometers per hour, so we might as well convert the minutes into hour. And how many minutes are there in an hour? 60. Working out the answer in your calculator, minutes cancel out, and you're left with 40 kilometers per hour, which if you drive, you should know that's a pretty decent kind of average speed you're aiming for, because sometimes you gotta stop for lights, sometimes, you have to speed up and so on. So you're not always going at the speed limit. So that's part A. Part B asks us for the average velocity. So in this case, we are concerned with where the school is located relative to her home, not necessarily how she gets there. So all we care about is from the start to the finish, how far does she go? And we are told that she goes 10.3 kilometers in a direction that is 25 degrees south of east. That means direction-wise, you start looking at the east side and you go south towards the south by 25.0 degrees. So that's the direction which we will preserve for our velocity calculation. So again, average velocity is displacement over time. The displacement, of course, we have to talk about the direction as well. So technically that should be written in here, although that doesn't affect this particular calculation south of east. We should still have it in there. The time is the same. It also took her 18 minutes to complete the whole trip. And again, we're going to do the minute to hour conversion. So we end up with a little smaller because the displacement is a little less than the distance travel because I guess you have to wind through some roads perhaps and keeping three sig figs that's what you get and don't forget that you have to include the direction in order to be a complete description of the velocity so that's for part B moving on to part C this now she leaves schools again and she goes back exactly the same path so 
In this case, for her calculation for the average speed, you have twice the odometer increase, so that's now 2 times 12 kilometers, which is 24 kilometers, and the time it takes is 7 hours and 30 minutes. Now, with hours and minutes like that, it's kind of weird to do calculations, so that's 7 and a half hours. So let's make it easier on ourselves. Grinding that through the calculator, you will get 3.2 kilometers an hour. Which makes sense because she spent most of her day sitting around in school, not moving very far. For the average velocity, again we need displacement. Well, where does she finish compared to where she start? She went to school and then she came back. So in fact, she didn't go anywhere. She finished exactly where she started. So displacement is zero. Doesn't matter what the R is. It also doesn't matter what the direction is because going zero in any direction is equivalent. So her average velocity for the entire trip is zero kilometers an hour. So hopefully that'll help you sort out what we mean by speed versus velocity, average speed versus average velocity.